The wall. This is Asgard. Hold on. I'm coming. What am I going to say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a fort told by prophecy, by the way. Diablo! <laughs> That it's safe from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthor. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's... Nothing to see this way, except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but... I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit! Me too! I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you... all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh... All Father saved us from the desolation, gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You, you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, can you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stayed? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. Uh, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. You can do it, Loki! Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Here's Temple. Oh. No wonder we couldn't use it to come here. OK, 
Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe, and yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reimther's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. But Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. <sighs> Nowhere to go but up. <clears throat> okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. <sighs> ah! Come on. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So. What part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or...? No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that.
This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move, and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultopper, who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thamur. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Hey! Whoa! Ah! Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice down. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do have treacherous intent. So I am not letting you anywhere near the That's right. Show me all of your stupid instincts. Oh, very nice. Kjolnard lost every war he ever fought. That was a big special move. Hilarious. Cowboy. That was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep our father waiting? Funny thing, I am sure about that. Yes, 
I'm feeling very sure, matter of fact. Oh no! Arrows! How fearsome! Whoa! Oh! How is he doing that? Oh! Nimble move! Glad to see you are awake. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! You were counting on that to protect you? Guess those arms could not lift a real shield. Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? Oh! I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, oh, my God. Java. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but... Sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. That well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All Father. Queen Gnaw. The Einherjar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Huh. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Einherjar. They tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them 
remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon the Nafen, Rothgar. Moon the Nafen, Swarm. Moon the Nafen, Yana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things for my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Study there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erland, try to stay awake for me. OK. But look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for folks. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's going to get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all going to be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. Oh, Father. Right, sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training puck pockets? You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down. And they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Loki, trying to make an exit here. Okay, I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes.
Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You've got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. <clears throat> uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did? Why does he want him here? Mom! Come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. Discussing this in our year show. I, I must have done something wrong. I, I'll get her. Sorry right. about her. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? Listen, whatever Grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... and and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, 
Why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. And more than that, and I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Muspelheim? The rest of the mask is here? Where all father dropped us. What do you think? Just take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms? Oh, Ingrid! Nice move! Jump up! Slow going, huh? You can maybe help. Where are we supposed to head now? I'll check. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! You can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else? Are they throw you? <laughs> they jump. 
Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thamor, Ronan, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms, and I revel every single one of their deaths. Let's just. Change the subject. You know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. I think you could... Don't play me. mission alone and I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do you don't have to like me but we're gonna have to trust each other just a little bit trust Thing to go. The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She's hey, saying... Hey, come look at this. Thor, what the... Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Wait, Surtur's Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. <sighs> the trials are just past that cliff. I got something you and Luke can do together. First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check him out. What have you got to lose? Try. Too easy. That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not slight. Get over. Worry. Not in the slightest. Jump up!
The Allfather's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on! Give me a challenge! Now to get to that shrine. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. Feels like forever ago. Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who is trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fine. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. 
course. Just be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the God of Thunder? Oh. Mountains of corpses by the time I finished. Cut down like wheat. Lava ran red with their blood. True. Great. You want to help down here? Where do you think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials? Or did you just watch your father? Time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Looks like we need to head through that gate. Oh, yeah? I had to do something while you were off fighting. Well, check again anyway. Fine. Through the gate, like I said. Thor? Make that impressive. Real God stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. Ah! Some advice. Sticking your hand in Bobo is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. No. Oh. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki, <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, <gasps> I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a... Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me.
You're back. Did you think that I would be? Well, I'm, it's pretty good soup. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. It's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected. I guess. Is that the sword from Grandfather's study? Oh, yeah. Her name's Ingrid. <laughs> Hi, Ingrid. Wow. All Father must really trust you. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow, we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. It's confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You 
you have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More than once, but believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another. For your own sake. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. Take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Oh, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. I don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get an opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy. When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, they herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight, all of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. 
I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not a problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. The Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? Have I? Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? I'm not so sure I like the sound of that. Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. The way forward is magically sealed. Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest... The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Yeah. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> Amir, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Clear's right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Did Odin see the norms? Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. There. You mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that things could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about <laughs> Thor knocking the World Serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The Sisters of Fate abused their power. You're saying the Sisters of Fate abused their power? They did. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. 
Ah, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. different from these lands. It was warmer. This way. Open oh, no. We found it. Ah. Isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into the room. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Freya of the Vanir, Master of Magics, Queen of the Valkyries, Witch of the Woods, Brig of Asgard. Destroyer of all the protect. Huh. She always finds to blame. She cannot change. Here we go. Counselor to kings. Mary Wanda of the woods. Robin of the good fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! 
Bloody hell! Look at that! Faster! There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <clears throat> to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. Mimi! Speakerin? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Just lie! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You sucked with me! You plotted his war! You brought him this tree! Everyone and everything! And you never gave a day until you turned off! No, I know secrets. It's true. All of it. But for me, I became a better man. A council of An ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scott? To throw up? No! You only took the side of the powerful men who used Brother, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, 
You see a violent gun in me, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother. It's who you always do. Who you are. And it's who you It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother the Fiend, it's pulling me in! Come here! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus, I am coming! Why do you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Away. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. 
The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to, to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut, shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall. I know where to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother. But it's hardly my point. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. 
We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Though, I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of Tyr's statue all over the lake. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Ah! How was Sigrun when you saw her last? She's still incorporeal, since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, you'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. You me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, inevitable asking of the dwarves. Thanks for grabbing that for us. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses, sees everything coming, unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... 
Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will just help me kill Heimdall. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should. It's just as likely a trap because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh -huh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? We'll think the fuck again. What was all that then? No, oh, just Sentry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a limb and making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion you got up to. 
but don't worry, you little dangling. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for them, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. It's not his fault Atreus ran off with him. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? <laughs> the Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods, you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your friend. <sighs> Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. Why is it, you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Hmm. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. Not for me to say. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it. About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Hang on. Almost got it. Hey. Well, come on in, stranger. You never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. 
No, quit your nattering, you oh, snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot! The sound of the wind! Oh! Watch and learn! See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. <laughs> Hang on! I smell trouble. So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't no more. Magical creature in this whole realm. Oh. I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro? I've never seen you so. Ever? Oh. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you! Whoa. That's another raven sent to the Tree of the Dead. Perhaps we should check up on it, hmm? Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece. But the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll bring you that tale. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled out. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Cody, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, no? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, 
Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to nature of one. I was almost following him for a the moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. 
Not its form. This weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. I can't let you take our new gal home without me. This one, boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Hey, good eye! That would get you right up there. The spear must be talking to yourself. Figuring stuff out faster than I can. It's all about the pro- I'm telling you, you're too far to the side. Not seeing no weak spots down here. But you keep looking. Whoa! You sure you ain't done this before? See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever's you What if these holes killed us? Uh, put you in the trap! <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatosk Group whenever you're ready. That's my story to tell. Uh, 
All right. Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These are great birds. Maybe those grim will take him down. from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. <laughs> oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands. On your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. That your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. 
superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. Hmm. So this drop near spear... You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. We done. Now do the thing. Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much work. Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am tired.
Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. My father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened. 
since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Uh. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Through. Hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, uh, 
Is that a good idea, training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right, OK, uh, here, then take this. And uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And uh, Treyas, see you later. And Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later. Thor's room. Everyone back home would freak if they knew I was in here. Wait, what am I doing in here? down in this library. What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I liked you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? First giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? It was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this and I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. 
There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention, Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Throod, too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. Now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask Finally, piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. For the record, I believe you fought the Valkyries. I just don't believe it was Grandfather who corrupted them, or that he caused the desolation in Midgard, or that he had all the giants killed. Am I missing anything? Uh, lots, actually. Well, what other heinous crimes has my grandfather committed? Let's see. He decimated Vanaheim, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Mimir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? <laughs> Through. My father wasn't always the person he is now. But he changed. Maybe Odin can too. I know how hard it is to hear this stuff, but you should know the truth. What you choose to do with it, that's up to you. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. I really gotta get myself a bow. Getting one's easy. Getting good at shooting is the hard part. Maybe you can show me. I'll be the first Valkyrie archer. Deal. Could be our way up. Let's head back down and find out. Mask? Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. Okay, this thing is really fighting me. Anything in there? There. Nice. Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. Oof. Well, I know exactly what that's like. Thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure it out. 
Which way? The mask showed it was straight ahead earlier. Of course, the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. Aha! I see more sound. Yeah. Yeah, sweet! So, how'd you know you wanted to be a Valkyrie? I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow, every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. So, where to now? Who's that? Don't look at me. You're the one who's been here before. It's probably nothing. Doesn't sound like nothing. Close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right, let's start with the lock not near its teeth. There was another one under his foot. Welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. down in the water or something? There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. Wait up. Maybe it's back here. Through. Through. It's, it's gonna be okay. How I... can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half-breed. <clears throat> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are 
You going to do exactly? You see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! Hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. You have a lot to learn, little girl. Starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believed the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please. Do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! You're so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, it worked. Uh, well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the all -Bow. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar. I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving if we could only somehow harness your uselessness we could fuel this entire city fine it's all on me just leave her out of it i don't need your help loki sorry save it for the all father We have a lot to discuss. Loki, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well, Allfather. Secured the item we've discussed. The mask, on the other hand, well, they are merely children. Thanks a lot. Throod, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I really messed up. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? That sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son.
but freeing Garm. <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. Okay, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Please, I need to go. Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugin will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. I never thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. Time to face him. No running away this time. Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no! It's you! Wait, it's you! Protect yourself! Oh, 
Over. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? God, just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers... They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we... Fixed together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. One problem. I'm not sure I have a way As back to Elon. Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I am. We are going. Try not to fuck up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. <sighs> Atreus! He's 
probably just scared. He was chained up for a really long time. We can't hurt him, okay? A desperate creature can be the most dangerous. I know. Gotta get across before he opens up more realm tears. The train in Niflheim just got a new guest. Wind powers? Cool! What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain. you to trust me. I know I have no right to ask. Can you anyway? What does he have that you need? Why can you not tell me? It's complicated. What about you? Why do you have a new weapon? I thought you didn't want war. I do not. But... It's complicated? Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Thanks for coming back with me. You didn't have to. I am your father. I will always help. As long as I am able. Well, that's good to hear too. Tell me, what were you doing in Asgard? I was translating things for Odin. There's this mask he found, a magical rift that's connected to it. It's all sort of... Complicated. Yeah, but I met people my age there. Made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. It compromises your judgment. Maybe, but I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus, I... Let's just figure out how this gate works, okay? I do not want you to feel alone, but your decision to go to Asgard helped me understand. Odin doesn't want Ragnarok. I, I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. I can't let Ragnarok happen either. Oh! 
If Odin truly wishes to avoid Ragnarok, then we are in agreement. Yeah? And what's that spear for? To protect you. Don't you have other weapons to that? Look close. Promise me you won't kill him, okay? I make no promises, but I will try not to kill the beast. Sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varn. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. Okay, I'll distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so we can't run him. Latch him onto something. No, too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Ugh. Wait. Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. Yes, sir. Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? Now, who does not trust? Sorry, I wasn't fair. I just... I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. I think I hear him up ahead. We do this my way now. I guess your way means... It means what you think it means. Can't we try and... We have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause. We will use it. Okay. Oh, 
didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. You didn't believe in that. Throw your 
can't find him. The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? Watch out! Gotta find him. Come on. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do when Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that.
okay? Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? See what I can do when you trust me? told you Heimdall was going to try and kill me. That's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Six tears to close, and uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. The gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong? Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. 
You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same, All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Atreus. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mimir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. You're back. How did it go? The beast should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The 
giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. Father, I'm gonna study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sindri? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tiara. I believe you just might. I can sharpen that axe if you want. Living Whetstone, that's me. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudge, more like it. Hey, wait. We're with you. Armpit of Muspelheim, that sea bleeds you, huh? Mimir, what else do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably.
great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Frey to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freyr's camp. You met Freyr? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freyr's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Frey is okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How'd that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You'd have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Hmm. <laughs> 
Don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <laughs> You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hilda Zvini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a Light Elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. You once told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einherjar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. <clears throat> it's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? 
Correct. Here's hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh... Come on! A double ambush? Okay, didn't see that coming. She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Whoa, what is that? A wyvern, nasty beast. Careful, wyvern. up! From hell on. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Perhaps Freya will know. 
So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a Blothunder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. seen any clips in Danaheim before. Yeah, that just sort of happened when we freed the moon. I've seen a lot of weird things, but a moon in a box was on a whole new level. Be a gun. How is he? Hmm. He rests. Any last minute preparations on your end before we spring Freya? Just this. It prepares my mind. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Your 
plan. I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're under no obligation to help me. I know. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, Mamir. What? The most annoying man alive. This way. Alas. <laughs> We're on Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. We're coming for you, Ingvi. Position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. And you must be the little half breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? So aggressive. So angry. Have some Vibra on me. Asgard! Hurry! <laughs> 
Spare me out of pity. <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him. This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead. Yeah. 
I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow! Easy. To me! Follow! We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, we're almost there, right? Archers ahead! No, seriously? No, Dad! No! Nice job, by the way. Hey, I'm a train. You okay? Hi. No, just hold on. All right. We gotta be close, right? On your right. Keep going. We're almost at the river. How about the girl? Where's the boat? Throw it in the river. Hurry now. That won't hold them for long. Whoa. Of course. There's deep off near. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go.
pleasure seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying! We're flying! I knew it would do that. We have guests! There's another one! I knew this was going too smoothly. Uh, little help? They're too fast! Look out! Think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. We'll see. He. Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crest. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck, you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Prophecy 
he holds at Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold the trails. We will discuss in private. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith, but I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with the capital stamp. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. Hope you and your loin sprout ain't got any holes where you don't want them. We are fine. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about him. Gave him a once over just as soon as Freyr was patched up and on his way. Did you now? <laughs> What does that mean? How could smell something? Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. The flare. That's gotta be Birger. She wants us to rescue him. You can head back now, Halka. I'll take it from here. How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. Should be easy to find Birger from up here. Why'd everyone sound so scared at this place? And uh, on that note, Dragon! Oh! I'm fine. You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. For long if that dragon has its way. It will not. Do you see what I'm seeing? A lightning bolt. Except it's frozen? Like the one made in my fight with Thor. But why would there be one just like it here in Vanaheim? Strike and retreat. 
retreat in tactics. Smart. It doesn't like us invading its territory. How are we gonna get to Yrgis? No way across this canyon. Let's look for another path, then. No doubt about it. Just like the frozen lightning bolt in Midgard. Yet I have never been here. This one were like the dragons in Midgard. They were nice. They were also intelligent dwarves who had been transformed into dragons. Still.
we just gotta find... Bigger. The animals. I can hear them. They said I was the last of the dragons. You did it! We did it. We sure did, huh? Over here. Oh, many thanks. No, thank you. You saved us back on the boat. Right, Father? It was foolish. And appreciated. There's a mystic gateway nearby. But I have no stone for it. We do. I can't believe you survived that fall. How'd you do it? I rolled. <laughs> Talk later. I have no need for this. Maybe I'll see you back at the camp. I'm under different circumstances, one hopes. With Birger safe, we can get out of here. Or explore some more. You wanna? I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. So I got the sense Vanaheim wasn't supposed to be so humid. Was that the effect of Fimble Winter there? To a great extent, it seems. So Midgard had endless night and cold. Svartalfheim had earthquakes. Alfheim had the light randomly pulsing. But Asgard didn't seem to be having any effects at all. Odin had a long time to prepare. No change I noticed in Helheim or Muspelheim either. Now that I think of it, the more primordial realms might be less susceptible. How do you suppose Jotunheim is faring? Uh, how would I know? Just training your powers of speculation. I don't know. If nobody's there to see. Does it even matter? So, Father's new spear, it's made out of a ring? Drop me an eye. Forged by the Hulder brothers as a gift for Odin. How's it work? Every so often, the drop near drips out identical copies of itself. The Huldras presumably figured that if one golden ring was a good gift, an infinite number of them would earn them a permanent place in Odin's heart. But it didn't. Not even a little. You look like you've been busy. I'll be over here when you want to leave. Lunda, people keep telling me Ragnarok is fated to happen. What do you think? You know, a lot of folks told me it was fate. I stopped smithing once I nearly lost my hand. So, nah. Fate can eat my sweet cheeks. I see why you and Brock get along. Oh, you don't see past the tip of your sniffer. Birger. 
How you feeling? Like I could sleep through Ragnarok. Funny you should say that. No. He has earned his rest. Yes. I think it may be time for this old warrior to finally lay down his sword and find a quiet place to retire. A quiet place, huh? Aren't you gonna miss Freya and his crew? I will miss their companionship, yes. But this is no place to convalesce. Actually, I know somebody else out there who's alone and could use your help. Let's talk later. I would like that. of the hour I want to hear everything I mean when you're ready I'm not giving orders here am I try to rest Ingvi let the herbs work oh they work oh they they work very well cuz you make things better you always have since since we were kids I find a new way to get into trouble and you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. Do you know... <clears throat> do you know we used to leave Vanaheim? Together? When we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just... tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership. Not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... I can inspire people, I guess. And eh, get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. It's more like, um... Like a muse? Wait. Like... like a what? A muse. Father told me about that. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I, I would be a natural. Oh. What were we talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. But someone was gonna fill us in on what happened with Heimdall, right? Is that what's happening? Patience. Hey, you think Cinder Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage 
Now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I back. Can... Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers. Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Chase. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective. Am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. You know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, you got me. And therein lies a tale. Listen, I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right, Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. I lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. We go. Oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. 
Sorry. This is Fenrir. It's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> so I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Fen while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Bon night, boy. Be careful, Loki. Bowden complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study. If he had nothing to do with it, then why isn't he here? Just because someone isn't here to defend themselves doesn't mean they're guilty. I mean, what kind of messed up logic is... Heimdall's dead. Suddenly, this boy, who you won't stop hanging around, is nowhere to be seen? He's literally working with Grandfather! Oh. Well, that puts me so much more at ease. What I'm saying is that maybe you wouldn't feel so weird about it if you said more than a cold hello to him. Forsetti's investigating, so the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. Um, well, I'm glad you heard all that. Or, I'm sorry you heard all that. <sighs> I don't really want to talk right now. Okay, panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything, something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out, got even, I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know, honest. Well, I have to ask. 
never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. We're going to Niflheim. Too. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Uh, hi, Sif. Do you know where I can find Thor? All Father is sending us on another mission. Why would I tell you where to find anyone I cared about? Look, it's fine if you don't like me or trust me or whatever. But I want you to know that you're hurting her. Excuse me? Druid's gonna be a Valkyrie one way or another. You know that. If you don't stand with her, you're gonna lose her. You may be working with Allfather and enjoying his little bubble of protection, but stay out of my family's business. Enjoy your freedom while you still have it. Through? Sorry, um, Allfather said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around and I was Wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with Grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I did think she was gonna choke me with her hair. I'm honestly surprised she didn't. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. Through. I'm. It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so. If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but. Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? 
We don't want to keep the Allfather. Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <sighs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with its face. This isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... Uh. That's enough! Oh, how I've missed this! And he's still back! Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. I'm 
I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, uh, no, it's fine. Really. Uh, hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Sarudi. You are going to Niflheim with Loki, all father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. or something. Fine. Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. I wish you could smell these. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. You Something wanna... I need to do first. <laughs> Take your time. Now we can go. Loki, you really keep trying to... I don't even know what you're trying to do anymore, but you have no idea the kind of shit I've been through. Right. Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? Ah! 
trick. Take care of this one, Loki. You know, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. Okay, I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. That doesn't sound familiar to you at all. So we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? Seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. Who says we can't? What are you going to say when you see them again? Sif and Throod, I mean. If all fathers pleased, it doesn't matter. Look. I don't need you to solve my family problems for me. Just find the mask. Let's get out of here. Up this way. Looks like there's a path. One pathway coming up. You enjoying the freedom? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to, in a good way. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. I think we... No thinking. <laughs> it's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> So, we close? Uh, maybe. I can check. It's here. That was close. Um, thanks, Thor. Wasn't about to lose that map. Loki, you did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? 
we would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the All Father's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? father against me my daughter i have no idea what's happening you know i finally thought of something i can teach you hey you stand down Sindri better be right where are you Sindri, ah! 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 you sure know how to plan an exit betrayus <sighs> Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Mimir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. Back, everybody! Hey, you made it! I'll get to here. Join us at the table if you're ready to stay. Oh, see? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped oh. it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Luna one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're back. I still can't figure that out. Are you out. okay? I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But, if you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please. Just think about it. This mask. The easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. <laughs> hmm. I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. 
This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me, but if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? Lads, not that a fair question, brother. You withheld Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Mm. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it. It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Brock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey, I'm talking to you. You never shut up. Brock! All the things, Odin. Let go of the boy and face me. Tell your brother to throw me the mask and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies. No, no. It wasn't part of the plan. But if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frigg. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything to work crap. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. Release my son! I am in control! Here! Throw me the mask! Now! Too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Please, you have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop it. I know what you've done, and I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. Bro. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. Where? 
it does not matter. Where are you going? We are done. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him! We need you here! Father, where are we going? Oh. Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. What do we hunt? Deer. Which way are we headed, lad? In the direction of deer. of what happened. I think I heard something. This way. He just needs space. Here. Tracks. They're leading that way. effects. We're all feeling its effects. Hmm. We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife, Brock, Sentry's face. Son. There it is. See over speed. Why? That was running. And so are we. I don't understand. Stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded in this. This is a distraction. It's my fault. No.
You should find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Lead. Is it okay if we take the slides? I need to think about what I'm gonna say to him. Of course. Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. If I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. <laughs> Swanner. It's Becky. <laughs> Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. <laughs> Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sindri did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, little brother. When a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock's, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really ah! gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. I know. It was stupid of me to help in the first place. when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. I will follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge should still work. We can get up to the temple that way. Atreus, what makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Sindri? Sindri, I... I am so sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means.
We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. Oh. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship. My home. My secrets. My treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We... There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... Is get the fuck out of my sight! Come with us. Leave it be. More than how you wish. I... I thought we were his family, too. That's right. Is there? No. But I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we get back, we're... We really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartalfheim, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know Atreus. We know. We really took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart what said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. I know we should go see Freya. But... I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard. For a little while. Aye. A few last adventures to take our minds off the state of... Well, everything. Even sure Freya will still be at the house. Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tyr to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tyr's desire for peace and mine.
You're back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, did I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means... We need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Surtur. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. Just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in all fun. And you? To that I Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. No Niflheim, no Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. said you know where to look for Surtur. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surtur, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. some doubts regarding negotiations with Rosvelker and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey. I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. They saw their prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight it. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen now. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're going to feel about it now. 
You would try to force these primordial beings into submission. Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? <laughs> Gotta be close. I can hear the forge. That's gotta be him. We will ask. <laughs> Hello, Serger? Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. Oh! Ah! What just happened? Hey, that wasn't- We deal with these fucks! Oh! Ah! Uh! 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 Roger, on the left! Why won't you help us? I don't want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can... Sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. But her heart, she's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even- Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. 
primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. <sighs> yeah, that could work. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. Where do we go? Spark of the world. Which is? The place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Whoa. Uh, sir? Still, Still me. me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic, primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get it. Big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn. Right? Yeah. Then we're good. So, here it is. The spark of the world. This is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gallo on. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that, too. <laughs> this is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Sinmar's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here.
by fire, her heart. Combine them, you get Ragnarok. It's time.
Are you there? Father, over here! way back from there. It worked. I, I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Groh was right. Groh failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. We're doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It'll be worth it. to a certain Vanny of Nocte. <laughs> Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? Well, this is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite? They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know. While we still can? Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. <gasps> so, sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, 
Probably. Surtur didn't want Samara involved. So instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok beast, we did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Sutter knows. Okay, ready when you are. All the armies are probably gathered in their home realms. Waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that. They are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, Mimir, please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just sleep on it. Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Hildy, come join us. Have a seat. I miss anything? Yeah, I was just telling him about the time I asked you to play damsel in distress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, <laughs> then, when she had them distracted, I jumped in, heroic, and together, we took them all down. There must have been a hundred. I don't know, maybe more. Spare us your gloating. Does it really bother you that some of my ideas actually work? No, but I do envy you. <laughs> in what realm? Spare me the patronizing. I've calculated every risk I've ever taken, tried to mitigate all the ways it could go wrong, and still, it all falls apart. You, you just 
throw yourself into situations in harm's way, and somehow it always works out for you. You always end up all right with that stupid grin. I'd argue my trip to Asgard didn't go quite so well. Yes, there are some lessons to be learned by planning, and others by learning to adapt. That's why you choose such a great team. I'd argue it's because we had such a lousy old man. Sorry. It's true Njord was not much of a father. But he's the reason we were able to be a family. Yeah, funny you should be so hard on him, Freyr, since you inherited his wanderlust. Especially in times of importance. That's not true. I had good reason for leaving those times. Tell her. <sighs> I have missed this. Hello. It's been a while. Ready to face Odin's endless army? Endless? Nien Heriar. When they die, they return to Valhalla to be reborn again. And the cycle continues. So get some rest. I leave for Helheim soon, but I'll see you on the battlefield. Good luck. We meet again. I never thanked you properly for freeing me and my sister so many winters ago. It had to be done. No, it didn't. But you did it anyway. And now, because of our queen, we finally have a chance to strike back at the man who did it to us. I am happy to fight by your side. My, your son's grown since I last saw him. Looking more and more like you by the day. A handsome young man. You should be proud. I am. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you. Can I sleep here tonight?
you must quiet your mind. I can't. Then I will tell you a story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy, and he grew weaker as time went. And one day, he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. You are quiet? I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? <laughs> In my 
my land. We entomb our loved ones. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. In circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me. Whenever that day comes. For you. And for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. Faye, do you feel your absence? No. <laughs> Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir. you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? 
Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. I came to these lands to escape my past, to start a new life. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. Prophecy did not lead us here. Nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered enough no matter the cost. This ends today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, and that's where I'll be. A big fat smile on my face. For Brock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You gotta stop those war machines. Not 
an ideal start. Wait. Ingrid, we don't have time. I know. Just wait. Ingrid! Well, we got work to do. You three, follow. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. This way! new Valkyrie queen is Gnaw. This complicates things. I would think so. Then we must hurry.
Up here! Jormungandr! A welcome sight! But he didn't follow us from Midgard! Curious! He'll keep Thor busy at least! They sound eager. Good. Here it comes! Find you! <laughs> <laughs> Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Hmm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Sin, we... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you break them, we must turn them on the floor. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up after the giant. <laughs>
camera. That's what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? My guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What, what are you doing? Size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three, get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. Hmm. Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! Protect him! I will help those that are trapped. And meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. Yeah.
what? You want to thank you? No, I just want... I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. <laughs> Sindri, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... was our Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. You don't owe him your death. Oh, shit. Dad will never let them get the grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Fight well! My dad taught me! That much is 
clear. Yeah, well, hey, sorry, he's, uh, he's not. I know. On your left. Great Lodge. That's where we gotta go. Yeah. Hit my lesson. That may not be our biggest problem right now. Roman Gator! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnar up. This fight is mine. But if I could just take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you, so I'll trust you. Get away from her! I am done with you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this! We do! It's what we are! Won't be enough! I can take it! Can you? That it? The lad seems to think you've changed! Prove it and stop it! Talking over! Wait and die! You're what the old father made you! You can choose to Oh, <laughs> 
Isn't he dead? Are you talking? 
Who told you to do that? You don't talk. You don't think. I think you kill. It's a simple fucking concept. Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill. I did not want this. No! Dude, this was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Your own son? Your granddaughter? Why? Rude's gonna be fine. I saved her. Uh, that one's on you. You turned them against me. You turned them all against me. Uh, 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 uh.
Was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh, oh. What? Not quite yet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore! That's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. <laughs> oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen! I always loved you. You know? You've never loved anyone! Real Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Roa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation, unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Frick? So have I! Too late for that! Don't forget me, old fucker! What did you call me? 
our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apfra, Desu, Sofna. 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 Sofna.
I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Hair. Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Hush. I won't have Rot set into this arm. Rot isn't going to... If you lose it, how then would you fight? Hmm? My... other arm. Thank you. Throod. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry, I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. 
But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and Throod. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Were either of your weapons damaged in the battle? I think they're fine. Maybe a couple nicks here and there. Well, we can have them looked at later. Eh, we might not need to. Nonsense. A shield maiden needs all her tools in working order. That Seagrin would probably chew you out if they were dull. Oh, she would, would she? <laughs> I know I certainly would. I also know you would. Huh, Lugan made it out. Good for him. <laughs> oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she'd really appreciate it. Okay. If we can get the rest of the tents up by nightfall, rations out to the kids, we should be in good shape. Huh, I should send someone over to Sif to see if they need anything. Skilder? Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just, I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Looks like you're keeping busy. I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And for your sacrifice. It's true. We were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true, and incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! Y'all remember that time old Skeet Floss near caught on fire? <laughs> if I remember correctly, it was you who lit it on fire in the first place. Well, uh, we're not, not on purpose. How was I supposed to know it was so easily flammable? It wasn't. You were showing off that enchanted bellows of yours and sparks flew everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha, that is what happened, isn't it? <laughs> oh, old boss man. Oh my.
I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen. I want to thank you. Oh. What else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me. Mentored me. And... Well... You're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildes Vini. And it's nice down here, huh? No loud noises. We're okay. You did so good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. 
After a moment, he asks that Death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Ainherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but they're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains.
did you see in there, brother? to it. Ah, uh, Freya, we should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she finds us?
And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull! Skull. We can hold a few dozen per camp. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although it won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General, Lady Freya, Ramir, my lady. Shield maidens. Bless Athor. Have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. One final word. We wish to offer condolences. What for? For your family. Your brother. We didn't mean to pry, sister. Mm. It was a lifetime ago. Memories and... Ruins. I'm surprised there was anything left. I just wish you had told me. I would have understood. I... What's done is done, dear Mamir. I appreciate your kind words. Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfheim. I'd like to go.
something strange. There are still signs of the World Serpent all over the lake. But we saw him disappear at Ragnarok. That can only mean the legend was true all along. That blow from Thor sent Jormungandr straight back in time. A younger Jormi, fresh from Jotunheim, would grow into the serpent we know. When you first met the snake, you said that he found a trace for New Year. Perhaps they met in Jotunheim. Perhaps so, brother. We'll have to ask the lad for that story when we next see him. Mimir, there's something I wanted to ask you about. Hildesfini told me about your visit to secure Hell's army, but was reluctant to elaborate when it came to negotiating with Hrasfelger. Ah, yes. Well, I can see why he'd hold off on such a subject until he saw if we survived the battle. Mimir, what exactly did you promise the Lars Bird? Oh, nothing too horrifying. It's just that she'd like to... retire. Retire? Hell's Eagle wants to retire? Indeed. And don't ask me what she expects to do with her free time. I assure you, there is no reassuring answer. Can she even do that? Not be... Hell? Apparently so. She just requires relief. Someone else to step in and become Hell, as it were. Not exactly an office many would wish to occupy. Aye. Terrible weather, infinite hours, and the possibility of unleashing terrible mischief on the realms if they're careless. Or worse, if they aren't completely trustworthy. But if she were to leave without a replacement? Complete chaos, yes. Well, I'm sorry I asked. When Jormungandr attacked Thor in Asgard, it seemed personal somehow. But there's no way they could have met before that, is there? I've been pondering that, and I have a theory. We know the lad spent his time in Jotunheim learning soul magic. Perhaps the serpent figured in. You mean Atreus placed some other giant soul into him? Someone who already hated Thor to begin with? Exactly! Though that doesn't narrow it down much, I grant you. I wonder if Yorm even remembers after all this time who he once was. <laughs> Brother, I've heard my share of stories about your homeland, but I've also heard that you once fought in a tournament. I fought in many contests. But this particular one, I heard you did battle with beasts, scoundrels, princesses, the undead, automatons, and history's greatest musician. That's not... that's not true, is it? I would not speak of this. Fair enough, brother. <laughs> Hi, Prado. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just... Mm. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. We're meeting at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. I know it's hard being here without them, but I'm sure old Brock would be glad you're here. And I'm sure Sindri, mm. wherever Time to he feed is, my plans. would appreciate you tidying up after yourself. Now go ahead. I wonder if Sindri will ever come back. Can this place ever feel like a home after what happened here? I never thought I'd miss their bickering. But it's really not the same place without those two, is it? We will maintain it until his return.
heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not going to be very happy with me. No. Charlie. I'm sorry, I was... I have no excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Is someone inside? Yes. Warming up already, isn't it? Birger. Hello. What are you doing here? Keeping warm. Both of us. It is your home if you wish me to leave. No. It's good that he has someone. Will you stay? There is still much to be done. Then we will wait. And when it is time to rest, I will keep the hearth warm. Thank you, Birger. Goodbye, Charlie. Mm -hmm. alternate lyrics to my ballot. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> Once. He taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
country. Black was. It's bigger the more you take away. To all things housed in her silence Nature offers a violence The bear that keeps to his own line The wolf that seeks always its own Oh, 
I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whatever you. But if there is, well, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. Forgive Sindri, he's just, uh, I mean, you know. 